process. I'm making eight cards, so it's like an assembly line. So what I did first was I stamped the leaves, stamp on and stamp off. We might have done that in a previous video. And then I stamped a carrot, but I stamped off the carrot. So stamping off, let me brush you up. If you want to get your stamp fully inked, take off most of the ink. This is what we call stamping off. And then you use whatever's left on there. And it gives it a lighter image. So I'm doing a whole set to go in my little basket or little crate that we painted earlier. And I designed this card because I thought spring is coming. Thanks a bunch is a perfect theme for that cute little white crate. So I have a winter's market Saturday and I'm going to be selling these cards there. Stamping off. sets have die cats, cats sets that go with them so you can um, cut out the actual stamped image. This one doesn't, so I had the hand cut. So what I did was I stamped, fully stamped, full ink on the, on the stamp, a bunch of leaves to go on this card. Here's my finished card. Thanks a bunch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp all these up and I'm gonna show you the next step. I've cut out all my cards, all the background, the accent color is a, a darker green. I've got my ribbons already. I've already stamped some of the carrots that I'm gonna cut out by hand. A die cut would be so much easier, but that's okay, we can cut fast. And um, I'll even show you a quick way to cut. So, Cut your image out. Now, a lot of you maybe have done this, but just in case some of you have it in your novices, you want to cut your picture out first, whatever you're cutting, and then trim it up. And then you could just turn your scissors around however you want to do it. Makes it so much easier and faster. Actually, it's probably faster to cut it out than the die cut. And then you could just cut out your carrots or whatever you stamped leaves too. All right, I'll be back when I get to the next step. All right, next I'm putting my foamies, the foam stick-ons, I call them foamies, on the backs of the carrots and the three leaves. So I've cut out two carrots, three leaves. I heased or hair or stuck, let's just say stuck. I stuck the foamies on the back of the carrots, two per leaf and carrot, so it gives it a little bit of a dimension. So that's the next step. Then I'm going to stick the, where is my runner? I must have left it upstairs. Well, we're going to have to pause a second because I have to run upstairs, which is going to Pearl. Pearly girly. That wreath was on the wall. Mr. Mel Mel. What are you doing in there? He's in the cabinet. I'm so glad that I made those curtains and had that cabinet handmade just for these two. For their playing pleasure. Mel Mel, are you in there? Mr. 
Mr. Mel Mel. <laughs> you guys are fresh. It was up there. Well, my first basket is done with four cards for the winter market on Saturday. And now I'm just stamping the greetings inside. I'm not going to be putting a thin liner in this one because the inside is going to be um, white. And on the inside, it's going to say, thanks a bunch. And I do have a set of stamps that I'm going to use to put on the back of the cards to um, initial them and date them. And it's a limited edition and uh, it's a set of eight stamps. And it says, one of them says, handcrafted from the heart, one of a kind creation, a paper hug from me, limited edition, made with love, just for you, and hand stamped. Really cute. I am using made with love, and then I'm going to sign it. So that's what I'm working on now. I have four more cards to finish up, and then I'm going to be working on the um, sea turtle ones. So here's a stamp set. It's a polymer set. It's thanks a bunch. It's a bunch of really nice stamps. So I'm going to make up, I need to make up five more carrots. So to show you why I stamp off sometimes is this orange is just way too dark. So when I stamp off the orange, it's much better. So I just need to make five more of these. Have you scrap this computer paper? These stamps are two layers, so that's why um, I'm not using these. They're nice and you can definitely use them, but that's not what I really want it to look like. I want it to look a little bit more shadowed, like this one. So we have it in two steps. So this one was pumpkin pie. The next one the color that I'm going to use is Cajun Craze, and it's a lot darker. Now, you have to kind of eyeball this. I'm not stamping this one off. You've got to kind of hover. But it gives it a little bit of a shadow effect. If not perfectly on there, that's okay because these are homemade and they don't have to be perfect and you're cutting them out. So if you miss a little bit, no biggie. Now I have something called a Stamparatus that I'll show you later um, in another video. And it's a two-step, and they won't move, and you can have them perfect, but I kind of like how they're not perfect, because it's homemade. So there's the next five that I need to cut out and put on my cards. I don't know why I'm getting leaks of orange paint, I mean, ink everywhere. But uh, clean off my stamps when I'm done.